Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to sync audio and video in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I'm going to go over two different methods. One is just normally like syncing audio and video and I'm also going to go over the multicam option. I'll go ahead and put timestamps down in the description below so you can jump to the section that you want to learn about. But I want to go over the two main ways to sync audio and video in Final Cut. And these are really helpful for like voiceover videos, but primarily you would, you would focus this more on music videos. So by dip, using different performance shots, this is basically the best way to do um, music videos is by syncing audio um, and video. So I'm going to go over a couple different methods um, to do that. Before I go over the different ways to sync audio and video, I want to go over a couple little tips and tricks when it comes to making sure you can do this um, correctly. So as you can see right here, this is what it looks like right here. I'll go ahead um, and put it up on full screen. But these are just a couple little tips and tricks that I've learned, you know, trying this out and obviously, you know, watching other people and seeing how other people, um, you know, their different workflow and so on and so forth. So the first one is making sure you have a camera that has an external mic. Now, it doesn't mean that every camera needs to have you know the best external mic, but basically you want to make sure that your camera is able to record audio. So if you have multiple different cameras, especially multicam or just you're using multiple different cameras, make sure each camera can record you know pretty good audio. If the audio quality you know is not that good of the like the in-camera mic, highly encourage you to go ahead and buy an external mic, especially if it's like you know a big high-end production and you really can't you know mess up. I would highly extern um, encourage you to get an external mic basically you just need um, audio recording on every single camera so it makes it much easier for Final Cut to sync it up because Final Cut syncs it up via the audio or the audio waveform so you want to make sure that every camera is recording good audio and if that means getting a nice external mic then I highly highly encourage you um, to do that the next one I'm going to go over is record loud and clear audio you want to make sure it kind of ties in the first point but you want to make sure every camera is the audio that the, the camera is recording it's very obvious to hear that way again it just makes it much easier for Final Cut to sync up um, the audio and sync up the audio and the video the next thing I want to go over is clap at the beginning of the recordings so just before you know have, have, once you have all the cameras rolling just do one loud clap because it's really gonna help Final Cut when you sync up the audio Another helpful tip is using a Bluetooth speaker or using a loud speaker, especially when you're doing music videos and you're doing like performance shots and you know, the person singing to it. You want to make sure you have the uh, music playing on like a Bluetooth speaker or a really loud speaker. That way all the cameras can hear that audio. That way you can sync up with the audio in post. So my tip is you know, use a Bluetooth speaker or just use a really good speaker or make it very audible. So again, it just helps to when Final Cut is trying to sync up the audio, especially when you doing music videos the audio has got to be very audible and you've got to be able to actually hear the audio because if you can barely hear it chances are Final Cut is going to struggle a lot you know to get it actually sounding good next I'm going to go over or a couple two little trick um, couple little tricks is make sure like your camera settings are the same so make sure the frame rate um, is the same if you're using external recorders use a sample rate of 48 kilohertz because that you know that's the standard so again basically just have the settings of all the cameras be very similar because it's going to save you a lot of time and most likely if you if, if every camera has different settings it might completely screw everything up so just make sure all the settings um, are the same and a couple little tips and tricks too to kind of tie in is using a gap clip so go ahead and click on option W to create a gap clip you can also click on it right here and you can click you know lift from storyline right here to avoid the magnetic timeline by using a gap clip and lifting things from storylines it the storyline it just helps avoid the magnetic timeline timeline which can definitely be a huge you know time saver and it can definitely definitely save you a lot of headaches another really helpful tip is using proxy media so if I go to view right here as you can see right here media playback is on proxy only I've done a whole video um, on proxy media so definitely go ahead um, and check that out but proxy media is a great tool to use especially with multicam especially if you're dealing with like you know 15 cameras and 4k and your computer is not the greatest use proxy it's going to make your performance uh, 10 times faster the first method I want to go over is just syncing audio. So this is nothing to do with multicam. This is just syncing audio, and this has to do with um, music videos. So obviously I'm not a singer or dancer, so obviously I can't dance or sing. So this is just you know for an example. But as you can see right here, here are your different clips. Here's performance shot one, performance shot two, and then here is the track right here. Obviously it's just me staring at a computer. As you can see right here, it's just me you know in different shirts because you know I can't sing or dance. So I should you know, kind of get the point across. So you can 
can see right here, here are all the different clips. Let's select them all. So let's press this one, this one, and this one. We want to sync all of these clips together. So what you want to do right here is you want to click on them right here, right click on them, go ahead and head over here to synchronize clips. So synchronize clips right here, and we can just call this um, sync audio. You can obviously, you know, name it whatever you want we'll call it sync audio we'll change the format to 1080p just you know the rendering goes a lot faster this basically makes sure that the best audio is being used and then obviously using audio for synchronization so you use the audio for synchronization now these two methods right here you mean you can mess with some of these but basically you'd want to choose between automatic and time code automatic is like the generic you know basic way to do it but i found when i did like when i matched this and this one up it worked when i matched this one and this one up it worked but when i tried to match all three using automatic it didn't work so i use time code so try automatic if automatic doesn't work go to time code so choose either time code or automatic the other ones you know might work you know in, in different circumstances but automatic and time code are hands down you know the most common ones and they work the best so i just use time code and obviously you know if one didn't work then i'll try automatic or you know um, change up the different settings um right there it all depends so we're gonna just go over here and we'll just go ahead and click on this one right here um, so as you can see um, right here let's go ahead and head over here to sync audio um, right here so what we're gonna do right here basically it like creates a compound clip so this is now basically acts like a compound clip so I'm gonna go ahead and just import it in right there and voila there you go now as you can see right here go over here to the example we have our sync clip right here so I go ahead and just double click the clip right here voila as you can see it's synced up um, right there easy as that final could just completely um, syncs it up um, right there you know just you know as easy as that it's completely all um, auto synced so as you can see right here as you can see right here this is just lifted from the storyline so I can cut up this clip without having you know to deal with the magnetic timeline so let's say I want to go right here I want to click on the clip right here and because it's lifted from the storyline it doesn't just automatically snap together so by using gap clips and lifting clips from, from above the storyline it helps to avoid um, the magnetic timeline um, right there so as you can see right here and now we can always just go over here a good thing to do right here basically it tries to all align up the audio waveforms one thing that I found to be helpful so let's say you know I want to go over here place a marker right here now what I'm gonna do right here is obviously you know, I can't do it right here but if I play it right here what I'll do is I'll I will listen to um, the track right there soloed and then what I'll do right here is I'll go over here and I'll solo this track and make sure it's the same audio so you just want to make sure and double check and make sure it's uh, synced up right there so that's basically the method I do I kind of find a section make sure this section matches up with this section by just using um, the solo audio track just to help make sure things are lined up and again like I said before you can go ahead go over here command B I can go ahead you know take it right here take the clip and just cut it right here or I can click V and disable it so it depends on what you want to do if you want to cut the clip or disable it but you know I don't have you know a ton of clips you know to give you a really good example but you just go through and cut the clips like you would you know any normal um, clip and then obviously what you want to do too is you want to go to the audio tracks right here so go over here and go right here like go to mute right here and then click on this one right here because obviously we only want to hear the best track so obviously you want to mute the tracks um, that you don't want that's really important if you don't do that uh, it's gonna sound um, very off now one thing that I've uh, the one thing that I found too let's say right here as you can see right here this doesn't really you know disconnect um, from the audio um, right there so there are definitely a couple ways or you know one main way to fix it so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go over here, click a marker right here, click on a marker right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag the clip over um, right here. So as you can see right here, I'll go ahead and just kind of move this um, over right here. I can go ahead and just, you know, kind of drag this over here, move this kind of, you know, over here, and basically line this up um, with the marker right here. So what you can do right here is you can basically just kind of, you know, readjust um, the clips right here. Again, you know, it's not, you know, the best example, but try lining them up with the markers. Just kind of, you know, try to mess with them. Make sure things are all synced up. Uh, and if, you know, the magnetic timeline, you know, if this, for example, this is, you know, connected to the magnetic timeline, then this is just, you know, kind of something you just go ahead, you know, go Command B right here. Sometimes it'll do it, sometimes it won't. And I can go ahead and just, you know, disable it um, right there. So those are a couple um, different methods you can do right here. I just basically want to show 
show you the overarching idea, which is just basically how to sync um, audio um, with clips right there. You know, it's as simple as that. Just synchronize it, choose between time code or automatic, and then just mess with the different stuff right here. I don't have you know, a ton of clips to give you the best example, but I kind of just want to go over the basic idea of how to, you know, achieve this effect. The next thing I'm going to go over is multi-cam editing. So what I'm going to do right here is you can see right here, here are all of my different camera angles right here. So I have an iPhone, Lumix G7, and then a voiceover right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on it right here, the iPhone angle, the Lumix G7 angle, and then this voiceover, which is basically just my audio um, right here. So that's basically you know, the different clips right there. Now one you know nice little tip to you know, know is go over here to the inspector window right here. Go over over here and go to extended right here and as you can see right here camera angle and camera name you can rename the camera angle and cable and uh, camera name this is really helpful if you're doing multiple takes with one camera and you want to make sure the same camera stays on the same you know line or same layer as the other camera for example if camera one you took you know four or five different takes you want to make sure that that same same camera angle is named or that same camera's name like has like camera angle one camera uh, camera name one angle one that way it just you know lies on the same layers which is just really helpful if you're doing um, multiple different takes right there so that's just you know one little tip that I've learned uh, which can definitely you know help save you a lot of time so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and take this clip I'm gonna take this clip and I'm gonna take this audio recording right here all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead click uh, I'll right click right here go to new multicam clip right here and we'll just name this multi um, cam uh, tutorial right here but you know generic and basic so we're gonna go ahead and change the format to 1080p and then all this stuff should look good all in the auto settings right here and then final cut will just uh, synchronize the clips now again it's why it's very important to use proxy media because without using proxy media this would take um, a lot faster so as you can see or a lot slower is what I'm trying to say so what you see right here here is the multicam tutorial right here or the multicam clip let's go ahead and import the clip right here so that's what it looks Looks like right there now what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go ahead click on the click on right here and go ahead and go ahead and click on command shift 7 right here and that basically brings up the multiple different camera angles now we'll go ahead and just disable this right here just so I can see um, the different camera angles now I can also go over here and change the number of angles um, that I want displayed uh, right there now what I'm gonna do over here is go to the multicam clip right here. I'm going to double click on the multicam right there, and voila! That's what the 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 when you open the multicam, that's what it looks like. As you can see right here, are the claps right here. So let's go ahead and kind of play it right here and kind of watch me right here. So as you can see, watch the window right there, and then boom! As you can see, it, it lines up. If you watch on um, this window and this window, you can see boom the clap lines up that's why it's always good always important to have like a loud clap that way it helps um sync up the audio right there now what you want to do too is you want to you know figure out which audio you want to use so for example i'm going to highlight this track right here because i want this audio to be used and i'm going to disable the audio for this one and i'm going to disable the audio for this one um uh right here so you just want to enable which track you actually want the audio and that's going to probably be like your you know your, your nice mic in this case it's the blue yeti um, right there so that's pretty much you know it's right there so I was going to just select the audio right here I can also go over here I can rename the clip right here rename the angle I can head over here and I can go ahead and click on add an angle or delete this current angle so that's you know a nice little tip to know um, right there also I can rearrange the angles so if I go over here to this you know little three lines right here I'll go ahead and bring it down into in sense the least importance so I want the Lumix G7 because it's the best quality so I'm just going to rearrange um, the clip right there and then I'm just going to exit out um, right there so you can see right here now I've just you know rearranged um, the angles right there another important tip is you want to go over here and you want to make sure this is selected basically as you can see right there all that does is that enables video switching if you do this right here it switches audio and video this one just switches video the reason you want to select that and I already showed you in the beginning you want to select which audio you want to use it just switches between videos so it doesn't cut between mics because you only want the best audio to be heard you only want to switch between the different camera angles so if I go ahead and play it right here I'm gonna go ahead and just select this one right here 
here. All I'm doing is I'm just selecting the different angles. So let's go ahead and play the video um, right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this angle. As you can see, Final Cut is just automatically um, cutting the clips. Now I want to go to this angle right here, wait for a couple seconds right here, and now I want to switch back over to this angle. So literally just by clicking on the angles, it switches. So if I go ahead and just play it right here, you can see the different angles um, just switch right there. Now I've worked on, um, been a part of live uh, college football games, so it's the same idea as a switchboard. So instead of doing it live, you're just switching between different cameras, which is a really cool way to do and make, you know, have it instead of having a live stream, kind of set up multiple different cameras so you can kind of create this live switching live feed um, kind of format right there, which is really nice. And again, if you've ever done, you know, live college football games or live television, you know it's the same idea of a switchboard. You're switching between the different camera angles. So the director is saying, like, go to camera two, camera, camera ready, you're like, camera one, ready, go, camera two, ready, go so on and so forth so it's basically just like like a switchboard in live tv now another thing you can do too is you can also just click the numbers on the on your keyboard instead of clicking on the angle so if i click on one on the keyboard right here i'll go ahead and play it right here and all i'm doing is just pressing the numbers on my keyboard so this is camera two so as you can see right there now we're going to switch back to camera one which is a lumix g7 camera one we're going to switch over to okay let's say okay i'm done talking i want to switch over to camera two and voila so if i go ahead and just play it right here it's same idea i can either click on the different angles or i can click you know one two three four on the keyboard depending on the different angles that i have so again it's really cool you can live switch between you know different shots and then you know, that's what it's right there you can go ahead you know cut the clip and do everything like that it basically acts as a compound um clip right there as you can see right there, that's camera angle one camera angle two camera angle three camera angle four so on and so forth so one two three four you know so on and so forth so just click the number keys um on your keyboard right there. You can also go right here, if I go ahead and just zoom right here, I can go ahead and readjust the cuts right there. So just by doing that, I can just readjust the cuts to just help fine tune the cuts. But again, this acts pretty much just like a compound clip, the same ideas. I can go ahead and also click on the clip right here, right click it, um, right here as you can see here, active camera angle. I can switch if I wanna you know, um, readjust it or active audio angle right there. Just in case you, you made the adjustment but you wanna go back, because actually no, I just wanna change the camera angle. You can go ahead and do, do that with just, you know, a simple um, click of a button. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you sync audio and you do multicam in Final Cut Pro 10. It's as simple as that. All you're doing is you know, just right click, synchronize clip, use time quarter automatic, and then you can obviously do with multicam. So it depends on the project you're doing. Some's gonna call for uh, synchronizing clips, some's gonna call for multicam. It just depends on your project. So obviously you know, look at your project and you know figure out, okay, which one does this need? Is this, should I use multicam? Should I use sync um, you know, audio and uh, video? It all depends on what you wanna do. So just see your project and then figure out which which one um, works uh, best for you and that's pretty much it anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 250 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials anyways I'll see you in the next one peace